Isagi has been evolving quite a lot recently and quite rapidly within the Neo-Egoist League. But besides all of his weapons, there's one simple thing that would have a huge return on investment for him as a player. Isagi's growth in the match against Manshine City was really important with him finding out MetaVision and being able to see other players their protagonism. However, something was still missing. In Chapter 199, Isagi was moving up the field as he had completely shut down Nagi Seishiro as he said that the piece he needs to become the protagonist is the piece he needs to enter flow. It's very obvious that it's in order to score goals. Devouring an opponent's egocentricism worked on defense as well as it was about time to utilize it on offense. He wondered what the best way to score would be without Yukimiya and Kaiser getting in his way. He was wondering what his best scoring option was, but he quickly came to realize that all the paths lead to a dead end. They would easily be able to catch up no matter what he does. The more he tried to read the future, the less he could see himself scoring a goal. Corona tried to assert himself, though, as Isagi passed to him. Isagi thought that it's because he's too far away from the goal, so if he'd use Corona as support, he might be able to manipulate the field to his advantage. But Chris was still in the game, and Kunigami was waiting to poach his goal. Getting past all of them and scoring would be a very daunting task for the egoist. He is getting frustrated now, as he needed just one more piece. If he just had Chigiri's speed, or Ness his passing ability, maybe even Kaiser's finishing his, his options would have increased exponentially. He lacks the necessary physical ability ability to utilize MetaVision at its full power. He's basically leaving progress on the table because he just doesn't have the physical abilities to make his vision come true. So what he needs to do is improve his specs in his own way. More on that later. MetaVision and egocentricism aren't enough to complete his puzzle. Now that he can see the game much more clearly, it's become even more clear that he is lacking, even though he doesn't need a special weapon to be able to execute on his vision. If he can level up all his abilities a little, he could reach the next level. But he can't do that right now as he realizes that he's too weak as he really wanted to practice. And the only way he got through the pack was through the help of Noel Noah, as he reckoned that Isagi had the best rationality out of everyone on Bastard Munchen. His creativity skyrocketed because he was with someone who could execute his vision. In Chapter 208, Isagi was practicing hard with the other blue lockers as he had to score in the next match against Ubers to prove that he was worthy of his own system within the team. He was in a conversation with Hiori as he told him that MetaVision is like using your peripheral vision so that you can scan and read the entire field while he's on and off the ball. It's kind of an extension of that reflex thing that he talked to him about. Although he realized that the major drawback is that it drains his stamina like crazy. He already reckoned that it was amazing, but his movements couldn't keep up with his thought process at that time. Isagi confirmed that to be true, as that's why he's training his body so that it's able to keep up with his vision and playmaking, which is exactly what I was talking about. From the outside, looking in, it looks like Isagi has has been evolving at an explosive rate, but from his perspective, he's just steadily leveling up. Every single weapon he has in his arsenal is kind of a boring evolution, but he thinks that that's what growth is all about after all. But in that last match, Hiori noticed that his playmaking and movements were off the charts. From the bench, it was like he was manipulating every single player on the field, and that egocentricism was why he was able to perfectly read everyone's mental state. So it's kind of obvious that Yuki felt that he was a godlike game master on that that last play. Isagi realized that it was the same feeling he had when he first went up against Rin in the second selection, and on top of that, he did that in the Neo-Egoist League against the world's best as he realized that he might be ascending to the next level. If you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing. But there's one catch as he told him that even if this training were to be a success, and he would successfully level up the chances of him winning against Kaiser would only be about 40% but he doesn't feel like it's good enough as there would be no point unless his chances of winning are 100%. In the last game, he was only able to play freely because he had Noah to support him as we've seen. But he wouldn't be able to become the world's best player if he continued doing that, even if he were to use MetaVision to read everyone's egocentrism and play a perfect game. Now it's cool that Isagi has realized that he needs to find a way to score, but what Isagi didn't take into consideration that much is his way towards the goal, as he still needs to be able to make the plays he wants with a strong body. In Chapter 213, Isagi has just scored his first goal in the Neo-Egoist League through a lefty shot even though Ness tried to take him out of balance. We find out that he went to Kunigami as he realized that his weakness is that he could only shoot accurately with his right foot. But the problem with this is that he still hasn't fixed the root of everything, which is the lack of physicality. 
There is one catch to this, though, as Kunigami told Isagi that it would be meaningless to copy him as their body types are totally different. If he were to bulk up in the wrong place, his body balance would go out of whack, which would deteriorate his performance. So he can't just bulk up and have a body like Noel Noah or Kunigami, for that matter. Later that chapter, Isagi found out that Bachira and Chigiri made minor adjustments that further maximized and enhanced their strongest weapons. So maybe there's no need to change everything as he was too hung up about being two-footed. What he really wanted was a customized weapon for his left foot. While he continues to level up his primary weapon, which is the direct shot, he just needs a secondary weapon that complements it. This weapon has been helping Isagi prove his value with scoring goals, but would that really be enough to beat Itoshi Rin? I don't think so. Which is why he needs to maximize the most important thing that will give the biggest boost to his performance. Other than just his secondary weapon, he needs to improve his physicality to maximize his meta vision, which is basically his strongest weapon. He shouldn't train like Noel Noah and Kunigami as that would mess up his specs, but he should rather train like how Manshine City would train. In chapter 170, we see Chris saying that if they were to lust for power while not understanding the mechanism of their own talent, they might start training blindly and end up with a body that's completely unbalanced, thus making their talents wither instantly. They would lose their identity, break their mentality, and be completely done as a player. It happens all the time in the world of talent when a genius vanishes completely. Being successful while still not understanding your own mechanism can turn into a curse that brings you suffering. But that's not how pros are, as he asked what kind of muscles could bring out their talents and help them with creating the plays that they want, as he tells them that a professional is one who can understand and control oneself. So what Isagi has to do is focus on improving his specs in the places that would give him the biggest return on investment and would be good for the type of player he is. The muscle he should be focusing on the most is his core. The reason why he needs this is for stability on the ball so he doesn't get flung off by opponents who are more bulky than him. He needs to train his legs a lot so that he can run faster and keep improving his secondary weapon so it has more effectiveness on the pitch. If he combines his leg training with his core training, he would have the stability that will increase his ball retention and the speed so that he can execute the plays that he gets through his metavision. He could have done this behind the scenes, though, as we only see the time when he's talking and chilling with the blue lockers after training. And this might be something intentional from Kaneshiro, as he'd like to hide his growth until their match against PXG, so it makes sense why the Ness backstory came first. Watch this video next where I talk about the reason that Asagi will come out on top in the Neo-Egoist League.